Hi everyone, I'm back again. Um, I thought I'd do a start on this beautiful thing. It's so big though. Not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to give it my best and get some wax on here. And you just sort of shove it in there. I'm not the best at this, but as long as we've got some wax in there, it'll hold on to those little drills. Um, okay, I'm going to pull it down towards me. Got my reading glasses on. And it looks like we're going to start with, I guess, some... I guess I'm going to do the caves first, just because that's the first one in the corner. And... Okay. Yeah, sometimes those lids are tight. Sometimes not so much. Okay. I hope you can see this. But whether you can or whether you cannot, I'm going to carry on. And when you're doing the square drills, you have to be sure to make sure you get them right on the square. And I'm not going to go too far that way because I want to stay in one corner. But we've got, um, oh, I guess we have more than a few. Sometimes you think you pick them up, then you don't. So make sure you line them up. I always kind of look at where the line is. I've got some wax on the pan, so it's picking everything up. Except when I want it to. So look for the straight line. And I'm just going to put some more wax in the pan as opposed to on the pan. And this wax is getting old and I haven't really done any diamond painting for a while. So, uh, life, eh? But I'm telling you, if this is the worst part of life, I'm in for it. Because this is very relaxing. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to shove one in the middle. And then, I guess I'll go two more, and then I'll start down. I'm not going to mess this up the way that I messed up that poor old rainbow buck. I mean, it was so much work. And while I was doing it, I was fine. I was relaxed and everything. But when I got my maybe three or four inches down oh my heart was just breaking and i didn't know what to do so that's why i decided to cut it all apart and and glue it to that um canvas board i like canvas board better than stretched canvas just because it's a harder surface so this is pretty, well it's not pretty late, but it is late. Uh, I think it's, well if you're working tomorrow it's late, that's for sure. But since I've been retired, and I am thinking of going back to work because, you know, it's, I don't think I'm going to be able to last on just the government pension and savings. My work pension was... Uh, man, when I called the company to find out how much my work pension was, the gal on the other line said, Oh, are you sitting down? And I knew it was going to be bad. And the reason I called was because one of the other girls told me, that I worked with, told me, Oh, you better call and find out. And she says, That's why I'm still working. So yeah, it's it was pretty sad. My pension is fifty dollars. My work pension is fifty dollars a month, and I'm not really complaining because there's a lot of people out there working that don't have 
anything at all. Like, you know, they've worked in, in companies that haven't um, provided them with a work pension. So, I, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm certainly not, no, I guess I am complaining about it. I don't want to complain about it. They made me do it. <laughs> no, they just, um, they, they did their part. It was a dollar for dollar pension. Um, but you could only put in so much a pay. And then when I questioned the girl at the pension office, the company that um, uh, manages our pensions, she says, oh, well, and I should have had a hospital pension. We all should have at the hospital where I worked. But um, we don't because they divided up the hospital into my group and the hospital group. And she says, oh, yours is a special pension. And I thought, well, nothing special about that, that's for sure. But like I said, it's better than a kick in the head, and it's absolutely better than nothing. So that's what, um, that's what I have to look forward to. I don't think I'm going to go back um, to work. If I do go back to work, it's going to be part-time, that's for sure. I'm not going to kill myself. Not, not, not as aged as I am. I don't feel old. It's really strange that that um, it's really strange. I remember the first time somebody offered me like a senior's discount, and I still feel like I'm 20. Like, who, who are you talking to? What's this all about? It was just so strange. It's like the first time when someone calls you ma'am, it's, it's, it's like an epiphany. It's like, what do you mean? Am I that old? And, and you're not. But it's like, wow, I still feel like I'm 20 for goodness sakes. I don't feel as old as I am, and I am old. I, I try to keep busy. <laughs> Thank God I'm feeding myself. I'm doing my ADLs. ADLs are activities of daily living. Um, you might hear your doctor say that to you at some point, um, probably referring to an elderly relative. So yeah, that's ADLs. So you can I can get dressed, I can feed myself. I know when to go to bed and when to wake up, although the past few months I haven't been going to bed at the proper time or waking up at the proper time. But um, that's because I don't know. I don't have insomnia. When I'm horizontal, I'm sleeping, and that's all there is to that. But, you see how I'm, I'm doing this? Oh, when I was doing the, um, um, when I was doing that rainbow, um, the rainbow buck, I was going all the way across, and so I have a whole row, but they're not so that they can get all loosey goosey. So that's a big mistake that I made there. And you don't belong here. You do not. Oh, you do. Okay. So I'm just going to do a few more of these. And uh, on my other video, the one I just uploaded tonight, um, oh my gosh, it took forever to upload. I did it. can't remember when. But now there's like a whole section, like maybe five minutes missing out of it. It doesn't matter because I know that I have like the worst voice in the world. But, well, I do have captions, though, so if you can't understand what I'm saying, you can always turn on captions, but I think I mumble sometimes, so sometimes the captions aren't bang on either. Um, 
so yeah. Now I'm going to do some R's I think. So we'll put this back in the K box. Right now that I have lots of these trays and I could fill them all up with all the colors I needed, but then you know what would happen? I would get totally confused. That's my default is total confusion. Anyway, oh, um, I'm going to carry on doing this. And I just wanted to mention that in the previous video that there's like, there's a few minutes missing. I really don't know how much, but there are a few. And now I get to do the um, cross pattern so that they all line up. And I'm really into this. I could probably do this all night, but I won't because I do have to get some sleep. I think I only ate one meal today, which is good. Um, I had my gallbladder out a while ago, and you, you just never know when it's going to decide to go nuts on you, so I try not to eat big meals, or a lot, um, that, that's, I guess, that's one of the things that happen to you as you're getting older, anyway, so I'm doing, and I'm pretty sure you cannot see this. Maybe if I had it over here. I'm just doing a cross hatch. Like I'm missing every second one in this little bundle here so that when I put the next ones in they'll all fit really nice and they'll line each other up. And like I said that was a big mistake that I made with the um, uh, rainbow buck and but I, I'm loving the way that it, it looks now on the um, canvas it really really looks great I can't pick it up so yeah this is uh, it really is a relaxing hobby and I think everybody should try it and like I said you can get little diamond painting kits at Dollarama and they're I'm pretty sure that they are I have one upside down here that they were four dollars each and they all come with a tray and the wax and the little paint pens although now some are white but um, they come with and the little wax flap that you need and you know for four dollars it's a great way to try and if you're in the states i'm pretty sure if dollarama has them here that maybe your dollar tree which is much better than our dollar tree probably has them as well so i would definitely have a look around for and i i showed in my year-end review those two little um Dollarama ones. I think it was the Llama and I oh, can't remember what the other one was. One was definitely a Llama. A Llama. So yeah, I would definitely have a look around if you want to try. It really is relaxing. It's sort of like doing a jigsaw puddle, puddle. <laughs> a jigsaw puzzle but without having to to find the pieces. You've got all the pieces. All you have to do is stick them in. You know what? It's more like cross stitch. I think that's what it is because you have all of these squares and you're just um, like count it cross stitch. You're putting them um, where they go. Okay, and that's it for the black. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'm losing my voice. I'm going to put this away for now. At least I've made a start on it. And once I start on something, then I really go for it. So you all have a great night. And I hope you'll come back and like and subscribe and do all that wonderful things. Because I really need that. Anyway, um, have a good evening. 
and I will see you, whoops, oh, now I've got a bend in it, and I'll see you again soon, have a good night, bye-bye.